Okay, so you start out with your Fonto app, and you open it up, and at the bottom, there's this little camera. You hit plain image, and you click the white box. You can use black if you want, it's totally up to you. And then up here in the corner is that little guy that gives you use, save, and use, and save. So we just hit use, and then it gives us this little box to work with, okay? So what I'm going to do is you type right here, I am making a cup for a Miss Stacy, and I'm going to put that in the center. The font, um, you can go through and play around. I like the Jenna Sue for this, um, because all you're going to do is you hit done. Well, of course, it says me, so you got to go back in to your font. Sorry, I'm trying to do this on an iPad and a phone at the same time. And change it to Miss, Miss, not Mr. Jeez Louise, Jen. Miss Stacy, okay? So at this point, you would resize it if you need to. Make it fit on that white box. Move it around. And then, this is all I do. I do screenshots because, well, it's easier. So I do my screenshot, and I crop it to the box. I don't go bigger than the box just because the next part you want to make sure that they're as close to the same size as possible. So, cropped out the box, we're going to hit done, save image. Now, we go back in, we hit style, stroke. Stroke is to create the line around it. So I literally just start adding, and boom, it's nice and thick now. Okay, so you hit done, and now you have your nice thick one to work with as well. So we screenshot that. Oh, I turned it black. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay, so now we just do our simple screenshot and crop it down again. Okay, and then you hit done. Save to your photos. Close out of that. Go find your Cricut. This is how I always upload all my stuff because my laptop gets really angry at me and um, so you hit upload and we're gonna start with the thin line Miss Stacy okay that's good enough I go into it on my laptop then and get rid of these lines through the contour. So, Miss, Stacy, and save. Okay? Now it's going to ask you if you want to upload it. I don't. So I'm going to hit close because I want to get my other one there too. And then we are going to do the thicker one here. And same deal. Just get rid of the parts that you don't need. Oh, too much. Undo. And then the cool part is, is that once you figure out the pattern that works for you, as far as how you do this, this is just the system that works for me, is doing the screenshots and making them thicker and going that way. And then we're going to save this one. Miss. Oh, now we're me again. Me, Stacy. Miss Stacy. Oh, that one has an E. And just so they don't get confused, I'll give it a two. And now I'm going to upload them. And then once you have them in here, you can change your color. Make one of them white, one of them black, and decide which one needs to come forward. Um, like I said, I do all this stuff on my laptop, though. And then the last thing that you're going to want to do is save it to your cloud. to the cloud. And then that's it. Um, these are relatively easy once you get the hang of it. So good luck. Feel free to ask questions. Thanks guys.